Hi and welcome to section 5 in which we are going to discuss about containers and microservices. So the first video we are going to talk about is using containers. Now when you talk about microservices you have to talk about containers. Now container deployment is something new that's happened in the last 3-4 years and it's really catching on. So a lot of organization that looks towards microservices development will be using containers for deployment of their applications. So you can use containers to deploy various types of applications. So you can use it to deploy web servers, application servers, database servers. So you could have a virtual server. On this you could deploy different containers. One for your web, your app and your database. Now one of the most popular container tools out there is Docker. So this is a tool that's designed to create, deploy and run your applications solely by using containers. If you're using container technology then you definitely will be using Docker. So I said this is the most popular container tool that's used by a large number of organizations. One of the key benefits of Docker is that it's completely open source. They also have Docker Hub. So Docker Hub is a central repository that's used to upload and download images. So these are Docker based images. You then use these images to create containers. Containers can easily be moved between virtual machines. So this is an important aspect when it comes to using containers. Its ability to move between virtual machines without impacting the container itself is what makes this container technology so famous. Now when you're working with Docker containers and images, you'll be using these images which are predefined templates. You have different images available from Docker Hub for the different operating systems. For example, you have images for Ubuntu, for Windows, for Red Hat. You also have it for different database. So you have it for MongoDB, for MySQL or even for web applications or web services such as Apache. You can then create containers out of those images. Now the entire idea of I bought about containers is that if you are looking at microservices development then you have to look at using Docker containers. So if you haven't started using them as yet, you have to start learning technology and start using Docker containers for your application. Now let's move on to our next video which is looking at orchestration of these containers.